guys welcome back okay so today i wanted to try out some uma beauty products okay um my first taste of uma beauty was what a few weeks back maybe a couple of months back when they came out with that carnival collection and of course it was so colorful and beautiful and vibrant that i had to try it out so that was my first taste of Uma Beauty. I got the palette, the highlighter, the lipstick, all that good stuff. But as far as like the complexion, foundation, and concealer and stuff, have not tried it yet. Now, when they first came out a while back, um, I was curious. I was curious. You know, I saw a lot of people on the tube trying it out. But I was kind of leery of paying that much money for products from a brand new brand that I had never heard of never seen wasn't familiar with so as a result had not tried it but just a little while back a few weeks back i guess they had this crazy sale i think it was like um i don't know if it was 60 percent off 40 percent off i don't know but it was enough off to make me buy some stuff <laughs> so anyway i went ahead picked up some foundation concealer and one of their like contour sticks and stuff so that's what i want to play with today now what i did grab i grabbed two of their foundations because i wasn't really sure i'm hoping one of these will work for me they had different like groups that the foundations were in and mine are from i don't know if you can see that but the brown sugar group and so i chose t one in and t2n so t1n and t2n to try out and so let me go ahead and just show you what they look like i know like i said these are not new at all they're just new to me so this one is t1n and that's what it looks like in the packaging hopefully my camera come on there we go so that's t1n and then this is T2N, which looks slightly darker in the packaging. Let's see. Yeah, so very, very slight difference in the color. But I do like this packaging. I like the frosted glass. And I do like the fact that there is a pump. So I do think that that's cool. But I'm going to go ahead, you know, and swatch both of those to see which one I think is going to work for me today. Now, I also grabbed one of their concealers. Oh, and there is a lot, <laughs> a lot of writing on their packaging, okay, to where it's like, okay, give all the information, why don't you? But this is called the Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation, okay? Very long name. Now, this is their concealer. This is the Stay Woke Brightening Concealer. So that's what the packaging looks like for that. Very cute. And let's take a look and see what I got. This one is Brown Sugar T2. So if I'm remembering correctly, I think they kind of like matched up the concealer with the foundation. Maybe it's just slightly lighter. But this is the shade that I got. That looks like a pretty decent concealer shade for me. I also picked up one of their Double Take. This is the Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Stick. So what it is, this is what the packaging looks like. But what it is, is, and I got brown sugar in this, of course. But this is a double-ended stick to where one side has, you know, your contour shade to put on. And then the other side, it has, what are they calling it? Sculpt and strobe. So that is the highlighter side. So that's what the highlighter part looks like. Contour, highlight. So I'm going to check that out today as well. And the last thing that I grabbed during the sale was one of their lipsticks. This is a Boss Gloss in the shade Passion. That's what the box looks like. Very pretty, very glitzy. And this is very different for a lip gloss. <laughs> it looks more like a mascara to me, but this is what the lip gloss packaging looks like. And this is what 
the wand and the color looks like. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's a very, very small wand. So hopefully it's not one of those ones where I have to keep putting it on, keep putting it on, but we'll see. Now, when I picked up the Carnival collection um, a few months ago, I did go ahead and pick up the rest of their palettes because they were on sale for half price. So I do have all of the palettes that were available at the time. Um, the first three that they came out with along with the Carnival one that I've already used. I will link the video just in case you're curious. But I did grab these other three palettes that they already had out. This one is Savage. And of course, their packaging is so, so pretty. But this is what Savage looks like. So it has the blue, the red, and the silver. This one is Poise. Oh, I love their packaging. The artistry is really, really nice. And this is what Poise looks like. So it's just your basic neutrals with a pop of blue. And lastly, I have Allure. So this is what Allure looks like. I think this packaging is actually my favorite one. And these are the shades in here. It pulls with the green. I'll show you the carnival just in case you haven't seen it. This is what the carnival package looks like. Bam! <laughs> that is what the colors in the carnival palette look like. Very, very pretty. I had a lot of fun creating a look with this palette so i think today i want to use the savage yeah so i'm going to use this one today the one with like the red and blues in it and silver and see what's happening okay and then lastly the only other thing that i have from uma is the highlighter that i bought from the carnival collection in barbados this highlighter is all of that and a bag of chips okay this highlighter is bomb so yeah i love it i'm gonna use that today okay you guys i think i'm gonna start with my eyes today so i'm going to prep them with my elf putty eye primer today and then we'll jump into this palette okay you guys eyelids are prepped so let's go ahead and jump right in I think I'm going to go ahead and start out with this red matte shade here and place that all throughout my crease. And it looks like it picks up quite a nice amount of product. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And I'm really stamping this color on just because you guys know I'm here for the drama, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going for the drama today. Okay, that pigmentation is not bad at all. Okay, next I wanna take this lighter shade here and just blend out the upper portion of my eyelid, just beneath my brow bone. Okay, so I think I want to deepen my inner and outer corner with this black shade here. You always want to be careful with black because you don't know just how pigmented it's going to be. But this one looks like it is a buildable black, so it doesn't just kind of like start out crazy you know with a pigment that is like hard to control this one is a decent amount of pigment to where you can control it without destroying your eye look Yeah, so I just want to add a little bit of depth. I will say I do like the way that these colors are blending together to where you can still see each color and they're not getting like completely muddy. So I do like that. 
I kind of want to do like a halo eye. It's like, how do you use these colors without looking like you're going out for the 4th of July? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, uh, what do I do with my lid? Okay, let me just see here. Okay, so these are the shimmers that I have to work with. Mm, of course, I want to use that blue. But like I said, I don't want to look like the 4th of July today. So I think I'm going to go with the red and the silver. Yeah, I'm going to go with the red and the silver. Wow, these shimmers are kind of like, it's like a mix between a shimmer and a glitter because it does have like a little bit of, I don't want to say chunkiness to it, but you know, it's not completely smooth like a regular just shimmer shadow. It's very, very pretty, but it does have a little bit of grit to it, but it's gorgeous. To where you could almost use this you know with a glitter glue but it's not moving so yeah that's pretty that is really really pretty it's almost like i don't want to use the silver because the red is so pretty so i think what i'm gonna do i'll use this the silver for like an inner corner pop or something i'm gonna go back into the black and just kind of deepen up those corners a little bit more to bring everything together. So this red shimmer actually looks like it has a gold shift in there. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it very, very clearly, like a gold shift. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just put on a really bold black eyeliner and then we'll move on to trying out the foundation and the concealer. <clears throat> okay, you guys, so we have our super bold dramatic or savage wing <laughs> so let's take a look at these foundations and see which one we're going to use today this one is the brown sugar t1n so let's see what this looks like Ooh, she watery okay she <laughs> is really watery okay very very watery mmm mmm Yo, I didn't know she was that watery. Let me see if I can squirt a little bit of tea in too. Okay, so this one here, I did a little bit better. That's tea in two. Uh, I think tea in two might be, I don't know, honey chow. So that's tea in two. And that's TN1. Mm, maybe TN1? Shoot, maybe I should mix them together, huh? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna mix them together. Yeah, let's mix them together and see what happens. So that's what the two of them mixed together looks like on my hand. But before I go in, I'm going to use some of my Tarte base tape a uh, primer. I actually like this stuff, so I'm gonna use some of this today. Okay, so I'm just gonna put two pumps of each. Y'all see see how watery that is? Y'all think I'm playing? That stuff it is watery. So I'm gonna use my sponge. Okay, so this is basically, you know, that whole four pumps. So two pumps from each one. Very, very watery. But this is how it's looking. I actually like the shade of the two mixed together. Um, because of my chest, 
I might have been able to just go with the lighter one but the two shade mixed together actually looks very nice it's extremely lightweight I mean I feel like I can barely feel anything on my face very lightweight so far um, it's looking like a nice natural finish um you guys know me and it's not as much coverage as I would like I would definitely use my NYX concealer underneath for my dark circles and around my mouth you can still see the dark discoloration so I'm gonna go in with one more pump from each shade to um, try and take care of some of those areas a little bit better And I'm sure, of course, if I were using a brush, you know, I would definitely get more coverage because, you know, the sponge soaks up a good amount of product. But I just felt like using a sponge today, especially since Perfect. this foundation is so watery. Okay, so that's what's going in a little bit with one more pump of each under my eyes and around my mouth. So it's not 100% complete full coverage, but we'll see what happens after I put my powder and everything on. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some of the Stay Woke Concealer. And she thick. Yeah, she thick. Ooh, child, she thick. <laughs> she is thick and it thick. Okay. I do like the color of it, but honey, she thick. It's very surprising to me that the concealer is so thick. And the foundation is so watery. That is so strange to me. Like, why such a drastic difference in the consistency? Okay, so it looks like the concealer does have decent coverage. It is... I mean, at least right now, it looks a little bit luminous. It doesn't look like it's completely matte or drying or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a little bit thicker than I would like. Tad bit thicker than I would like. And let me see. And I think I would definitely, in certain areas, I mean, it's doing good on my dark circles, actually. But like these areas around my mouth, I think the sponge just removes too much product. Yeah, so, you know, of course with using my finger, um, it's not soaking up any product, so it's giving me the actual coverage. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Like I said, it's a little thicker than I like. Yeah, a little thicker, but I can work with it. I'm just glad I picked <laughs> decent shades for foundation and concealer to try out. Okay, so let's see what's happening with this double take duo stick here that I've got that is the contour and the highlighter. So let me twist this up a bit and see what's happening. So this is how much product you get in the stick. So that's not bad. It's very creamy. I will say that it is very creamy. And pigmented, oh my goodness. I went in with quite a bit because when I use the Fenty one, you know, it kind of like blends out and stuff. 
but I did not expect this one <laughs> to blend like to stretch out so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, honey, we're gonna be contour today. Okay. Well, I just went from Coco Licious to Choco Latte. Okay. <laughs> Choco Latte. Ooh, I love how this blends out though. It's like so freaking creamy. Oh my goodness. Very, very nice. It's not dry at all. But honey, you definitely don't need a lot. Okay, so I went a little bit ham with the contour stick, but as you can see, it definitely works, okay? And it blends out so nicely. I used way too much, but I love the color of it. I love the pigment of it, but yeah, it blends out really nicely. I just, I would use a little bit less. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my powder and my blush and my highlighter and then come back and finish up the eyes. Okay, so back to the eyes, I'm going to use a black pencil eyeliner. This one is my Rimmel Scandal Eyes. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the black and just smoke it out a little bit more. I'm gonna try not to have raccoon eyes today. <laughs> so I think that's enough. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this silver shimmer here and add that for an inner corner pop. Okay, so that is that silver inner corner pop. Uh, your girl went ham as usual, but I did want it to add kind of like a dramatic aspect to this eye since it is basically just red and black. Now we got that dramatic inner corner silver. Very, very pigmented, very nice. Okay guys, I don't feel like putting on no lashes right now, so I'm going in with my LA Girl Volumatic Mascara today. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and check out this lip gloss. This is in the shade Passion. Of course, you guys know I'm going to use some of my Ellery lip liner first. So this is what it looks like once again. Cute little wand here, and it kind of just looks like the same color you know, of the lip liner that I'm using, so. Hmm, feels interesting. It's actually kind of cool going on. Is this plumping? No, it doesn't feel plumping. Feels nice. It looks like it kind of has a bit of like a brown color to it. Let me swatch it. So you see what I mean? It's kind of like burgundy, but it also looks like a little bit brown. Yeah, so I think that this is like perfect with this lip liner. Really, really pretty. It's very comfortable. It's not sticky at all. It kind of... It smells nice. It kind of smells like a mix between like a fruit and a perfume. So yeah, it smells really nice, but this is what it looks like without a lip liner. So yeah, I would always wear a lip liner with this. 
And I just picked up this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. Very, very curious about it because I have a lot of dewy setting sprays or just regular setting sprays and I don't really have any matte. I used to love the Milani one, but I haven't bought that in a while. So I wanted to try out this one from Wet n Wild. Oh, now that's a nice spritz. Okay. Oh. I like that. <laughs> I like that spritz. It's nice and firm, but it still gets all over. It's not like a direct hit. You know, it's a nice spray that goes all over the face. Okay, I like this setting spray. It's not bad, you guys. I don't know that my face necessarily looks matte, but I do like it how it dried down and how it set my makeup. So we'll see how it goes throughout the day. And <laughs> that contour stick, I don't know. Maybe I didn't put too much on, honey, because I am feeling it. <laughs> I like it a lot. So my overall thoughts on the products that I tried out today from Uma the foundations I actually like it it's I mean it's very watery and I'm not used to that because it's kind of like you know difficult to apply when it's so watery but you know just putting it in a little container mixing them together and using my sponge I think it worked out really nice you guys let me know down below what you think about the shades that I chose and mixing them together. I like this foundation. I would definitely use it some more. The concealer, I love the color. The coverage is very nice. It's a little thick for my liking. It is a little thick. So if you don't like super thick concealers, you probably wouldn't like this because it is pretty thick. I think it looks, the coverage looks good though. And it's plain fairly decently with my what powder did I use the beauty bakery better not bitter powder is what I have on today and I think it's working out nicely with that powder so I would think it would work out nicely with my Becca powder as well so I do like it it's just a little bit thick now this stick here I didn't try the highlighter you know what let me at least swatch the highlighter portion for you guys because I didn't try that out only because I knew I already had the Barbados but that oh look there's a little bit of moisture on there honey let me mix that <laughs> but yeah that is what the um, other end of the highlighter stick looks like so I mean you know I'm just not really into stick or liquid type highlighters but it looks really pretty I'm sure that would look really nice on the skin just using a sponge or using my fingers it's pretty but i don't know i just prefer you know a powder but i can definitely see this looking nice as well so i like this stick a lot <laughs> the lip gloss i really like it it's comfortable it's not sticky i think the color is very pretty you know, you can wear this without a lip liner. I just chose to pair it with a lip liner because my eye look is kind of bold. So I went ahead with the lip liner. But yeah, I think it's definitely a very, very nice gloss. You guys already know how I feel about this Barbados highlighter. Ugh, love it, love it, love it. I love this highlighter. To me, it is just really, really pretty. You can have it really, really bold or you know you can just do kind of like a subtle glow so I do like that about this highlighter it is buildable and lastly this eyeshadow palette that I used today which is the savage okay I didn't go into the blues I didn't really want to look like an American flag today but I think if the blue shimmer and matte performs like the red did that I really, really will like it, you know, using it in the future because I like it. It's nicely pigmented. The shadows blended out very well. I didn't have any issues. The black is not like crazy, crazy pigmented where it could get out of hand easily. I like it because it's nicely buildable and I was able to create this look 
with ease. And honey, that's silver in a corner, <laughs> which is basically dragged halfway down my um, lower lash line. I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it. So I like this palette. I think it's a nice palette. Is it worth like $44? No. <laughs> that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. 10 shades. I'm really, really glad I was able to get this for half price. I think I paid $22 for it. I think it's worth $22. $44? No. That's why I didn't buy it for, at full price. So anyways, this is my Uma face today, you guys. I like it. I am pleased. I can't say there's anything that I used that I just did not like. So that is it, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me to check out these Uma products that I got on sale. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!